It looked like a medical miracle. Derek Fidiker, paralyzed from the waist down when he was stabbed four years ago, walked again this year. A pioneering operation implanted cells from Derek's nasal cavity into his spinal cord, encouraging nerves to regrow. When there is nothing, you can't feel almost half of your body. You're very helpless, lost. But when it begins to come back, it's like starting afresh, as if you were born again. This image, just a snapshot of the decades of research behind the breakthrough, shows spinal nerves in green growing through a red bridge of the implanted cells. But to make sure Derek's recovery wasn't a phenomenal one-off, the team behind it plans to repeat the operation. My dream is in this patient and in the next patients to see much reduced, much more effective uh, recovery of the motor function, enabling them to walk independently. This is still very much an experiment. The team doesn't want to raise false hopes and they're not looking for volunteers. They'll select patients with a specific type of injury to be part of the study. More hospitals, including one centre in London, will also test and independently assess the technique. At the top of that mountain for us is not the final cure. It's enough to get everyone trying out in different centres how to do it. We will have succeeded when people take it out of our hands and do it. I hope we will get everyone out of wheelchairs. That's what I hope. And I think we've got a key that may get us a long way towards it. The UK is now a leading centre for regenerative medicine. In specialist institutes like this one at Imperial College, scientists are engineering human cells. The team here is actually growing heart cells in dishes and you can tell that they're heart cells because if you look through this microscope you can actually see them beating. These can be made from a patient's own skin cells. In the next five years researchers hope to embark on trials to use them as grafts that could repair the heart. Lab-grown implants are already being tested in humans for the treatment of Parkinson's disease, liver disease and even certain types of blindness. The possibilities of regenerative medicine are essentially uh, endless and having a supportive government, supportive legislation makes me optimistic that the UK is one of the countries which is well placed to make a, a contribution that will benefit people all over the world. For Derek Fidiker, that possibility became a reality and in the coming years this research is set to make even more medical milestones. Victoria Gill, BBC News.